All right, what is going on, everyone? Tryhard Casual here, and we are doing another episode of Quick Konar Slayer. Today, we have Necreals in the Catacombs of Karen. This is actually kind of nice because I want to train some magic, and I know Necreals are one of the best ways to get magic XP if you feel like bursting them. Of course, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this task, so even if you don't want to burst, I'll tell you what you can do besides that. So let me talk about the intricacies of the gear we're taking. So for Necreals, when you're bursting them, you want to protect from melee the whole time. Because of that, we can bring some prayer gear with our magic gear, it's going to be like a hybrid set. As long as our attack bonus is above zero for magic, we don't need to worry about the attack bonus at all. We can just focus on prayer gear instead. This is because the Necreal defense for magic is very low. So the only items that are actually going to increase our DPS on this are going to be the Imbued Slayer Helmet, the Occult Necklace, an Imbued God Cape, and the Tormented Bracelet, but we're not going to opt to bring that. We're actually going to bring a Bracelet of Slaughter because I want to extend this task as much as I can. And then for every other slot, we can just bring stuff that increases our prayer, basically. That's why we have like the Devout Boots, the Book of Darkness, and so on. I'm also going to bring the Ring of Wealth just so the items on the ground aren't as cluttered and the gold won't get in the way. And because we're going to be on the Ancient Spellbook and casting the best burst spell we have, we want to have a weapon that can auto-cast Ancient Magics. Really, your three choices are a Master Wand, a Kodai Wand, or an Ancient Staff. So I will throw down some gear options on screen if you want to mix it up a little bit. Now if you didn't want to use Magic, you can definitely melee. I would strongly recommend taking Arclad on this if you do want to melee because the Greater Necreal do have very high defense. But beyond that, we can look at our inventory. We are going to bring some iron knives to help gather up the Necreal into a pile, which I'll show you later. I'm going to bring a Ceridome and Godsword as a spec weapon, only because it restores prayer with how much damage we deal on a swing. So if you don't have a spec weapon that can increase your prayer, then don't worry about it. With the prayer gear we have and the Ceridome and Godsword, we only need to bring four prayer potions, really. We're also going to have some additional bracelets of slaughter just to extend the task, a gem bag, and a herb sack for the drops. And for the runes we're carrying in the pouch, we're going to have some arbitrarily high amount of death, water, chaos, and blood runes. With those runes, we'll be able to cast Ice Burst and Blood Burst. Obviously, you should use Blood or Ice Barrage if you have the option to. Even though we're going to be praying for melee, we want to bring Blood Burst because the Necreals are going to spawn these things called Death Spawns, and they're going to damage us even through prayer. It's very small damage, so Blood Burst will be more than enough to keep us up. If you have an Explorer's Ring 4, you can use the High Alk function on that for 30 free Alks per day. If you don't have it, it's no big deal, you just have to leave some drops on the ground. But if you're a pack rat like me, you'll just make more trips to the bank basically throughout the task. So getting to the catacombs can be a little bit involved if you've never been to the Karen before. I believe if it's your first time, you have to talk to Vios at Port Sarim and take his boat over to the, uh, the ports here. From there, you'll have to run over to the center, and then right there will be the dungeon. Obviously, if you have the Kren teleport unlocked or the Zarek Talisman teleport to the center of the city, that's going to be your best picks for getting there. I remember before I had those unlocked, I would just visit someone else's house and use their house teleport to the Karen. But once we're actually inside the dungeon, we'll just go up north a little bit, and the Necreal are going to be in these two rooms right here. So now that we're down in the dungeon, I'll look at this guy and show you how to gather up all the Necreal. Basically, you just stab all of them with the iron knives. You'll run over to any corner and go back and forth between the two slots. This is going to stack up everything very nicely for you. Once they're all stacked up, you switch back to your wand and you just burst away. And then you just rinse and repeat over and over. So if a greater Necreal spawns like it did for this guy, what you want to do is have it not melee you, because the death spawns it can summon will hit you through prayer and it'll actually drain your health kind of fast. If the Greater Necreal does connect with you and summon these minions, really what you have to do is just run into a different room so the minions despawn. Other than that, you don't have to worry about anything whenever a superior spawns. You might also want to have auto retaliate off just so you're not running all over the place. But let's get these guys round up and I'll play the montage. Okay, we are done with the task, so let's talk about the time and profit on this one. It did take us an hour and 43 minutes to complete, but I kind of expected that considering we have the task extended from the Slayer Master and I'm using a Bracelet of Slaughter. We made 1.5 mil on the surface of this, so no, that's not bad, that's pretty decent. That's good, I would say, actually. I did not include any of the Chaos or the Death Runes into the price check because we used those to cast our spells, and I know we ended up casting somewhere over the 2000 range. So our total profit is definitely going to be less depending on how many spells we had to cast. 
but we did get three brimstone keys, an ancient shard, a dark totem base, and then actually enough pieces for a whole totem on top of that. But opening up the chest, we're going to make a little bit more money here. Oh my god, <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll take that. What? Dude, no. No, 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 that's not right. That will bring it up over 2 mil for this task thanks to those awesome keys. And that is basically it. We are at the end of the video now. So if you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. You know, any numbers that I can get on these videos help me tremendously with growing the channel. And I appreciate them all from like the bottom of my heart. So that is all for now. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next one.